हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर पंडित शिंदे डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग साइंसेस एस एस एम एस आई आई टी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज पुणे लेटेस्ट टूडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द नॉन एक्सैक्ट डिफरेंस इन इक्वेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड फर्स्ट डिग्री एंड इट्स सॉल्यूशन यूजिंग द इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर मीन्स इफ द डिफरेंस इन इक्वेशन इज नॉन एक्जैक्ट वी रिड्यूस इन एक्जैक्ट फॉर्म एंड देन सिंप्लीफाइड हाउ टू रिड्यूस बाई मल्टीप्लाइंग द इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर मीन्स इवन डिफरेंस इन इक्वेशन इज नॉन एक्जैक्ट If you multiply that equation by integrating factor, it will become a exact differential equation. So let's move towards the topic. So let us, guys, uh, title is equation uh, equation reducible to exact form by using integrating factor. Means here first we find the uh, integrating factor and then reduce in exact form. Well, rule finding integrating factor of equation m dx plus n dy equal to which when it is non-exact. All of you know when differential equation m dx plus n dy is non-exact. If this condition daba m by daba y is not equal to daba n by daba x, then and then this differential equation is non-exact differential equation. If this equal, then it is exact. We know. And how to solve exact differential equation? Also we know. So today we discuss about the just non-exact differential equation and how to reduce in exact by using uh, rule three and uh, how to simplify it after it become a Exact differential equation. So let us move towards the rule three. Rule three says that if daba m by daba y minus daba n by daba x upon n is equal to only function of x, only function of x, or some way constant also we say that only function of x, then the integrating factor is e raised to integration of f of x dx. Means after simplifying this LHS. Simplification. After simplifying this LHS, we get the function of x only. No y is there. Then and then this rule is applicable. And once we get the integrating factor, then we multiply non-exact differential equation by this integrating factor. This differential equation become exact. And how to solve it? We see again. So first check the given differential equation is exact or not. Why? Again, I am saying what. We find out this uh, rule, uh, integrating factor for only non-exact differential equation, because we want to reduce non-exact to exact form. So it is already exact. Then simplify as per our uh, solution is given. So first, this is a given question. Solve the following differential equation. So I am directly move towards the exact. Hey, ya nahi ye. Check it first. So therefore, comparing with m dx plus n dy equal to zero. So what is the value of m? M is equal to some x square plus y square plus one, and n is minus two x y. Clear. So what happened here? The value of daba m by daba y is x square constant zero, y square is two y one constant zero. Daba n by daba x that is partial derivative of n with respect to x. So minus two y is a constant. X square root two is one. So therefore, what happened here? Here it is a plus two y. Here it is a minus two y. So daba m by daba y is plus two y. Daba n by daba x is minus two y. So that implies here daba m by daba y is not equal to daba n by daba x. So that implies I'm calling this equation one. So difference in equation one is non-exact differential equation. Why? Because this condition is not satisfied there. Means daba n by daba y is not equal daba uh, is equal to daba n by daba n. This condition not satisfy. So here is daba n by daba y is not equal daba n by daba x. The condition of exactness is not satisfied, so it is non-exact. And our target is now to find target. First target is reduce in integrating uh, reduce in exact differential equation form. For that to find the integrating factor. Previous two videos we see the rule one and rule two. Rule one is applicable for homogeneous. Now guys, you tell me. This is homogeneous. No, here it degree is one, so it is not homogeneous. Degree zero, degree two, degree two, degree zero, so it is not homogeneous. If there is a common, who is coming? Rule two say m is a y common is not coming, so no common y from m. So it is not in the form of rule two. Means some y into a for x y dx plus some uh, x into g of x y dy, not in this form. So therefore, rule two is not applicable. So we check for rule three or four. So here for rule three. So what is rule three says that? So our target is to find the integrating factor. So I'm using rule three first. Rule three applicable or not? Check it. Rule three says that 
डाबा एम बाय डाबा वाई माइनस डाबा एन बाय डाबा एक्स अपॉन एम इज इक्वल टू चेक इट सॉरी नॉट एम इट इज एन सॉरी एन सो चेक इट डाबा एम बाय डाबा वाई इज टू वाई माइनस डाबा एन बाय इट इज माइनस टू वाई एंड दिस इज माइनस टू एक्स वाई सो दिस बिकम प्लस फोर वाई अपॉन माइनस टू एक्स वाई सो वाई गेट्स कैंसल टू टू सो इट इज माइनस टू बाय एक्स which is a function of x so rule 3 is satisfied so that implies or therefore here integrating factor is e raise to integration of f of x dx because it is only function of x so e raise to integration of minus 2 by x dx so e raise to minus 2 outside dx by x we know the integration of dx by x is log x so we cancel log and uh, exponential but here is log property A into log b is log a raised to b. So this raised to log and it gets cancelled. It is x raised to minus two. And all of you know what do you mean by x raised to minus two? So integrating factor is one upon x square. This is the integrating factor. And if you multiply equation one by this integrating factor, it will become x squared. So we move towards directly how to simplify it. So I'm write down here. So therefore, multiply. Equation one by integrating factor is equal to one upon x square. It will become x squared. But first we multiply. So therefore, one upon x square. What is a? It is equation is x square y square plus one dx minus two x y d y equal to zero. So just simplify, multiply inside by one upon x square. So x square x square gets cancelled. So it is one. Plus your y square upon x square plus one upon x square dx minus one x gets cancelled so minus two y by x dy equal to zero. I'm calling this as equation number two and it's exact differential equation directly. Why? Check it. If you check it, exact or not, it is exact definitely. How to check it? I'm comparing with m dash plus n dash dx. n dash dy equal to zero. So what is the value of m dash? m dash is one plus y square upon x square, so one upon x square, and n dash is minus two y by x. Okay. So for checking, we find out dy by m dash by dy by y. Clear? So derivative of m dash partial partial derivative of m dash with respect to y x constant derivative of one is zero. Here is one upon x square. Why it is two y? Why square derivative? What will be? Two y. And this one upon x square is zero. So, means dy by n dash by dy by x with respect to what is coming out? X. So y is constant. So minus two y. As it is, derivative of one upon x is minus one by x square. So minus minus become plus. So look at here. It is plus two y upon x square. It is plus two y upon x square. So therefore here, dy by m dash by dy by y. Equal to dy by n dash by dy by x. So therefore, equation two is exact differential equation. I am saying again. Say uh, again. I am saying here, if your integrating factor is correct and this simplification after multiplying the integrating is correct, then definitely it is exact. So once it is exact, to solve it, to find the solution again. So how to find the solution, guys? Again, we know m dash dx. Y constant plus n dash the term p from x dy equal to some constant. We just putting the values. What is the value of it is y constant integration m dash m dash is one plus y square upon x square plus one upon x square dx plus the term p from x. So But only one term minus two y y x and containing x, so it is zero d y equal to c because no term is there which is free from x. So therefore, integration y on so integration of one d x is x plus this y is right. Integration of one upon x square. They got them. They minus one by x. Again, one upon x square is minus one by x is equal to c. Am I correct? One upon x square. The integration is Minus one by x. 
So therefore, after simplification, x this is minus y square by x minus one by x equal to c. This is the final answer by using rule three. Means what happened here again, guys? First, we check the given differential equation is exact or not. Daba m by daba y is not equal to daba n by daba x here. So given differential equation is non-exact. Correct. If it is non-exact, then we find out the integrating factor. Why we use rule three? Why not one and two? Because rule one is for homogeneous. So given differential equation not homogeneous. Rule two is for y common from uh, m and n common from x. Nahi aara tha, so it is not applicable. Rule two also not applicable. Means rule one and rule two not applicable. So move towards rule three. So rule three is only function of x. So it is applicable. So therefore, find out the integrating factor. It is one upon x square. And after finding the integrating factor, I am multiplying. Equation one by integrating factor, it will become a exact. And once we do exact, find the solution. So solution is x into y square by x minus one by x equal to c. This is the final answer. So this way we simplify non-exact differential equation by using rule three. So thank you guys. We stop here.